Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to the finale of Fire Emblem Awakening. Wretched son of Naga, you will be destroyed! Are you ready? Robin? Yeah. As ready as I will ever be, Krom. Let's finish this. This is the final battle in the game against the fell dragon Grima. You are allowed to have a party of 16. I decided to bench Flavia and Basilo simply because I want to be going in with the team that's been with us for more or less the entirety of our adventure. These two have been with us since the beginning as well, but they've always supported us from the sidelines. And while I very much appreciate the help that they've given us in our final stretch, I think that it would be more suited to have everyone here who is irreplaceable to me. And I would rather have neither of them than just have one of them and forget the other, because they're both equally important to me. So for that reason, we're going to let Yen Fei make his fighting debut in the final battle. I wanted to get at least one of our Paralog buddies to join us in this final battle. And I thought he would be the most suited. Now, let's get ready for the fight of our lives. Unfortunately, Naga couldn't bring us to the head of the dragon, which is where we need to go. But we'll get there in due time. As usual, Krom can't move. I'm going to just be focusing on the strongest of pairings. So Robin and Krom are going to be together, even though that is a very dangerous combination. Because if either one of them goes down, the battle is over. They are still the strongest bond. So I think they'll be best suited side by side. Uh, listen, Frederick, of course. Lucina... I guess I'll be pairing you up with Tiki, since no one else has a bond stronger... Uh, strong enough with her than you do. Uh, we will be pairing up Long Ku and Pain, of course. Tharja with Noe. Uh, Seiri with Yenfei. And then Cherish and Sumia. Kind of a weird group to put the two flyers together, but... Um, uh, maybe Olivia as well. She could be going with one of them instead. And then uh, Cherish could probably take care of herself. So... Let's get things started in the final battle. <laughs> what? What manner of magic? Magic? <laughs> that was a... That was a catastrophe! He's weakened us all. He's too strong. It, it cannot end like this. I won't have all our struggle. Be for naught. No, this darkness. The future is upon us. Oh, gods. Father. And so it ends, Robin. See how frail these human bonds of yours are. How short-lived. How pointless. You have all thrown your lives away. And the result is the same. We're not dead yet! Hmm. Details, details. <sighs> but yes, I suppose it's time I got you all off my back so to speak, permanently. No. No, you don't want this, do you? You do have a choice, you know. It doesn't have to be like this. You could still have all of your friends. Become one with me, and we shall spare their lives. Refuse and watch as I rend the flesh from their bones. I... No, Robin! Don't! Don't do it! 
She's lying. It's a trap. <laughs> now I will have your decision. Will you save these worms? Will you join me and become a god? I'm sorry, everyone. But there isn't anything that I wouldn't do for all of you. Right. All right. I'll do as you wish. Just let them live. Wait! No, Robin! Don't! Yes. At last I have you. Once our power is joined. The dragon's might! will be made whole! First, let my friends go. You promised to spare them. Oh, come now. We both knew that was never going to happen. But I am not altogether cruel. I did spare you the pain of killing them openly. What? You! In truth, I simply don't understand why you care so deeply for the creatures. No matter, your soul is mine now. You cannot escape. Your mind will descend into the shadow of my own. No. I won't let you. You still dare resist me? Then perhaps I should end you first. So dark. A sea of black. I have no final strategy. No cards left to play. One. Oh, I, I can't see. I can't hear. I feel nothing. Nothing. I have to fight back. So remember, now keep your word! Krom? Krom! Krom, I can hear you! What? No! You are mine now! The dragon's grip cannot be broken! Please stay strong! Come back to us, Robin! I know it would take more than this to stop you, my lady. Good luck. Robin, remember all the days we spent together. Don't falter. Uh, answer us, Robin! Be strong. Do not rob the Togwell of one of our last true champions. I'm with you. I thought I was your favorite dragon. Forget about Grima. Just don't fail. Get up, Robin. No one goes down without my say-so. Don't give up. Please, Robin. I still haven't shown you my new dance. Stay with me. Minerva wants you back, and so do I. It's alright. 
You have earned my trust and my love, mother. Now return to us! Keep your wits about you. I awaken. You cannot leave now with my debt to you unpaid. You can do it. Robin, you can't close up shop on us now. We still need you. I believe in you. You are not Grima, nor is he you. Remember that, Robin. I can hear them. I can hear my friends. Stop this at once! Silence those wretched voices! You are all powerless, frail, insignificant! You are nothing! Come on. Return to us, Robin! Your bond with us is stronger than even the fell dragon's might! I'm coming, Krom! Hold on! No. Children of man, take my power. Rise now and face the fell dragon. This is the final battle in the game against the fell dragon, Grima. Everything that we've been working towards has led to this moment. It's time to come together and save the entire world. We're going to be going with our strongest pairings because there's nothing else left for us. Our training is complete. All of the wars have been finished. Now all that's left is the war against the entire world. Or rather, the one who's trying to destroy it. Now, I have two pieces of advice for you in terms of what you need to do. First one is your main priority being Grima and Grima only. As you can see, there are a ton of stinking dudes around here who are going to try to take you down, but they will always keep respawning. There is no point in trying to take them out aside from the ones that are just right in front of you. Don't go out of your way to get rid of them. The journey is at its end. There's no point for extra experience or extra support systems or whatever. It is completely just made to make sure you don't defeat their leader. Just go for Grima and nothing else. The second note about Grima. We were told before that the fate of Grima's demise will be determined based on who destroys them. That decision will be made after the battle. You could have whoever you want take down Grima right now in gameplay, but the final decision will be made once that gameplay is over, so don't worry about that right now. So then, what are we going to do with our final group? We're going to pair... Uh, how about these two together? And then these two together. They thankfully gave us one more extra unit so that we could have a full uh, group that, was all, that everyone had a, a partner to go into it with. Because that's what this whole adventure's been all about. It's been about working together to achieve a common goal, even though we came from different backgrounds and all had a vastly different personalities for sure. We're all completely different from who we once were, and it's going to be one heck of a ride trying to get to the end of this, that's for sure, but we're going to do it together, like we always have and like we always will. Now, another thing I should keep note of is that Lucina also has the possibility of getting you a game over in this fight. If Krom, Robin, or Lucina go down in battle, it's a game over, so be forewarned about that. Let's go over here, and I think we are done. I don't think anyone's going to be able to attack us right now, but let's find out. All of them are just going to come running on towards us, and every single turn more enemies spawn in, so there is really not a whole lot of room for error or for stalling. We just need to get rid of the boss immediately. They're all just making charge. And there you go. More enemies have already spawned in. So we're going to go up here. I want to see... Don't want to get Robin too close. I don't think Grima will ever leave their post, but better be safe than sorry. We'll have Robin attack this guy. Yeah, I know it's really dangerous to have Robin and Krom uh, paired up together, but it's the ultimate bond, and... They're the ones who are destined to take down this ultimate evil. Hear my words, Awakener. Grima's servants will beset you to no end. Once the fell dragon is weakened, 
a choice will await you. If Krom lets fall the final blow, Grima shall survive but return to his slumber. Right. So be it. If Robin strikes in Krom's stead, both of her and Grima's are forever over. Only in this way may the fell dragon be destroyed for good and all. Heed me. The final decision is yours. But once again, that decision will not be made until the battle is over, so don't worry about that for now, because first time playing this, I was stressing out so stinking hard about who was going to land the final blow and like calculating, make sure uh, people didn't get criticals or like land on the final hit exactly how I wanted it to be, so do not worry about that yet. That is going to be for later. Now then, what do I want to do? I will... Uh, it's kind of risky to have Lucina out in front as well. What do all these guys have? They all, they're all level 20. And they all seem pretty powerful. Uh, let's go and have Tiki out in front and get rid of this guy. Uh, this guy's got a bow as well, so we're definitely going to want to get rid of those bow users. You know how I feel about those. And then Tiki's... It's sort of weird that like, Tiki flies above the dragon when she's in dragon form. So like, And same with uh, Minerva, how she's just floating above. She's not technically standing on the dragon. So like, shouldn't she be like flying back at a million miles an hour or something like that? Is that how gravity works? It's like how... If you drop a ball while, if you're in a plane, you have a ball with you, you drop it to the ground. Like, it doesn't fly backwards just because it's in the air. Just, like, it drops like it would normally would if you were uh, outside on the ground. And, like, if you're in a bus or a train or something like that and you jump in midair, like, you don't go flying backwards. I never really understood that. I don't know how gravity works or all that nonsense, but whatever. That's hardly the thing for us to be focusing on in this final battle. Uh, let's see if we could... Get some more people taken down. Uh, Longku, I'm sure, will have no problem taking down anyone, as usual. Uh, how about Olivia, though? Could she get rid of somebody? I got a new weapon for her, the Soul Caddy. Uh, doesn't seem to be great for this enemy, though. How about for this one? Uh, not Sumia. Let's go with Olivia. Uh, still not quite. The Soul's the best, though. Uh, let's go for it. Maybe we'll get a critical. We'll get lucky. Uh, she said we need it. Come on, dodge it. Thank you. Uh, not quite, unfortunately. Uh, Tharja, of course, is never going to have any problem taking down anybody, so we don't worry about them too much. Uh, Fui. Seiri and Yenfei are not quite there yet. Or are they? He has 11 sword. It's not going to do that much damage, though, but it's damage nonetheless. Let's go for it. There maybe there's going to be a critical, or maybe... Yeah, I was hoping that for that, Sayuri would jump in and do a little bit more damage. Still didn't take him down, though. At least it did something. Uh, let's see. We'll have Long Ku take down this guy. And then we'll uh, have Frederick and Lissa turn around and attack the other one that we weren't able to finish off. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, everyone's doing pretty good so far. No, it's just the counterattack that I'm really worried about. Uh, let's... I don't know, do I want to get Frederick that close to all the enemies that they're about to show up? Probably not, so I'll keep him on this side. Could he attack? Can't take them down. Lissa? You can't do it either. Um, I also got list of the Brave Axe. Let's go ahead and have that be equipped to her at all times. Frederick. Uh, oh, that actually changes things. Uh, good to know. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, I know that's your strongest lance, so... Uh, guess we'll go for it, even though it's close to breaking. Just want to make sure it's equipped for all the people who are going to come after you afterwards. Okay, we got rid of him. Okay. Oh, I know that didn't change. It was that one that I was like wondering about if we could KO them or not. Whatever. Minor details. Let's go and. That's the only one Tharja could attack, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And now it's time for Brace for Impact after this. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Love the stinking music that's accompanying us during this fight. It's absolutely insanely epic, and I love it. 
Don't love Olivia getting attacked like that, though. I don't like people gaining up on a single character. You're a jerk. Thank you for dodging. Oh, and thank you for the critical. Please heal yourself. Uh, I was hoping it would be a thing that healed her. I very much like double criticals. Uh, you healed a little bit of HP. Still didn't take him out, though. Okay, hopefully that's enough for you to just keep you alive, though. I really want to see if I could be a true Fire Emblem uh, player and keep everyone alive as if their lives depend on it. Will it happen? I have no idea, but let's find out if I could do it. I would be very happy if I could have everyone see this battle through to the end. Uh, don't want to have Robin out in the open for too long, because it's really dangerous. Okay, up next we have... Of course, they're all going to go for them. Really not safe, but whatever. Thank you for guarding. We'll do that and that. What do we got next? Got uh, all these guys coming down. We were a bit too close for comfort, so now they're all going to be able to reach us. But maybe it'll work to our advantage, because now we won't have to deal with them. Uh, as long as more enemies don't spawn right here on the top, we should be good. But they'll be spawning in from somewhere. Every single turn, we'll get new enemies. Uh, going for Olivia. Thank you for dodging! These guys are coming in. Oh, they're going to reach Frederick. Uh, can we dodge it? Thank you. Or you could guard. That's also really great. Okay, want hand-to-hand -hand combat with Long Q? Yeah, we'll see how well that works for you, buddy. You guys don't stand a chance with these guys. I've seen what they've gone through, and I've seen how they've changed and evolved over time. We can't even recognize half of them. Some of them have changed drastically over the course of our adventure, either emotional-wise or battle-wise or both. It is absolutely insane how, like, so many things have changed now that we've uh, formed an ultimate unbreakable bond together in this war. And that is what's going to carry us to the end of this fight and to the ends of the Earth. There's nothing that we can't overcome. Okay, they're just going to keep on rising forward. Uh, one of them healed. And new one spawning from over there. Okay, let's see what we could do. We could have Tiki come in and attack. I know there's a special communication that can happen with Lucina and Grima. I don't know if that's going to happen unless Tiki, uh, Lucina's out in the front. And that only does... 12 damage, so it's even worth it. I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, but then again, I know uh, Grima has crazy long range with this, right? This is like a very long ranged attack. Uh, reduces for all enemies within three spaces. Oh, jeez. It's really sinking risky if you send anyone up there. Robin could do uh, that much damage at best. Krom could take her down pretty stinking far. Krom's weapon that's been blessed with Naga's power is definitely the uh, best option, but it's just a matter of uh, whether or not we could do it in this one turn, so we would have to survive afterwards. Oh, that's an idea. Okay. We might be able to do this right now with Tharja. Tiki and uh, Krom all teamed up. Let's see if we could do it. I am Grima. I am Despair. We're halfway there. Could Krom finish them off? He can. There's no point in mincing words or prolonging this for any longer than it already has. Too much suffering has gone on in this world because of you, because of all these wars. Well, no longer. We won't allow it. It's finally time for the fell dragon Grima to be put to rest. At the hands of the exalted king. Your end has come. I come to end you, Grima! <laughs> Arrogant mortal! I am the end!
Right. Now, Robin, this is our chance. I'm going to finish it. Thank you for everything. We successfully created the world that we always dreamed of creating. So promise me that when I'm gone, you'll fight to keep it that way until the end of time. Robin? Wait, what? What? What are you doing? For once, I'm glad you and I are the same. Now I can give my life to protect those I care for. You would not dare! All right. I would and I will. The evils you would visit on this world are unthinkable. In some way, I... We share the blame. It's only right we meet our end together. <gasps> no! Robin! No! <laughs> Thank you, Krom, for everything. Tell the others my last thoughts were of them. May we meet again in a better life. Wait! Robin! No! Ah, oh, gods, no! The war is ended, my friends. Never again will the fell dragon trouble our world. I owe you all far more than words could ever repay. Especially Robin, who gave herself to save us all. To save all of the worlds to come. P poor Robin. <laughs> After everything she did for us. No. Don't cry, Lissa. We'll see her again. I'm sure of it. Remember what Naga said? That Robin would survive if our ties were strong enough? This isn't over. I believe Robin is out there. Somewhere. And I'll find her. If it takes me the rest of my days... I'll find her. Mm -hmm. You're right. She has to be out there somewhere. And we'll find a way to bring her home. Even if we have to search every open field in this whole stupid world. Ah, I believe the same, my prince. Robin is too strong to simply disappear. It falls to us to look after the realm until she returns. Yeah. Robin of darn well better come back. If that blasted dragon truly got her, I'll be the one breathing fire. <sighs> she made a noble sacrifice, and I know my nobility. 
and I know Robin shall someday return. Yeah. Robin's gotta be out there somewhere. How do I know? Hey, you don't question the vake. Hmm. I can feel it too. Robin is out there waiting for us. Though I surely will miss her in the meantime. While statistically unsubstantiated, I have what layman might call a hunch. This hunch corroborates most of the statements made thus far. Robin, I know you're out there. I know you're not gone. And no one knows more about being lost and found than me. I wish she could have stayed with us long enough to see me grow stronger. But all the more reason to work hard between now and her return. <laughs> she lives. I know it. Some people just aren't the dying sort. Right. If Crom believes she's alright, then so do I! Maybe I can work out some new magic to bring her home. <sighs> if she returns to us now, I might even consider making her tea myself. Do you hear that, Robin? Me making tea? You should be honored! Let us honor Robin's regard for her wherein she was a true Togwell. And a true Togwell would not leave family behind. I feel she's out there. Huh. If Robin's anything like me, she won't check out just cause the job is done. Gotta collect all the sweet rewards, right? <sighs> Too many times now have I watched loved ones give their lives for me. I must hold on to faith that this time will be different. Hmm. Oi, Robin, you daring to make Gregor celebrate alone? Gregor not rest until he drink you on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Ro Robin's not going. She's just misplaced. I'll wait a thousand years for her, if I have to. In Naga's name. Naga has a way of sending a ray of light into even the deepest darkness. May Robin find that light, just as she became that light for us. She had better march back here and try again. I only send people off on my terms. Or in a casket. Oh. There will be one less set of eyes on me as I dance. It feels wrong. Please come back, Robin. Please be out there somewhere. Oh. Minerva says she still feels Robin is of this world. Also that she smells delicious, but that's neither there nor here. Hey, Robin! Everyone's dying to see you alive! We're sick to death of death! That reminds me of a good one. Two risen, a wyvern, and a priest walk into a bar. We have won our future, but we are in debt to so many sad memories. I pray at least one of those sadnesses will yet be undone. Right. I swear my life and blade to defend this future you have won, Robin. If you can hear me, swear that you will help me do so. Right. She did what she had to. That's the mark of a true warrior. She'll be back. I bet my sweet brown booty cheeks on it. <sighs> bah! Leave it to Robin to take responsibility for all of us. If she cared for us that much, I hope she knows how we still need her. Uh, Thanks to you and the others, I was able to change. And I've got more changing to do. I wants you to say it! <laughs> You've done so much for me and all of my many, many sisters. You're an extra special customer. I hope we meet again. I feel so strange and true, person in the darkness! 
the hero will return! No, mother. You can't leave me now. Not like this. I believe in you. Come back! All this death. No more! Please, you've... You've got to come back. <sighs> Robin put others before herself. No one can question her character. But her work is not done. She is still needed here. How dare you, Robin! I joined this fight to meet my end, not secure yours. I'll chase after you to the ends of the earth. And if you're there, well, I'll drag you right back. Yes. How we die defines how we lived. This can be said of Robin. But I expect there are more pages yet to be written of a woman so nearly my equal. Robin, come back. I need you. We need you. This world needs you. Robin, it was a life lived grandly. But was it lived to its end? I trow you are meant for more. <sighs> what? Robin, dead before me? Preposterous! Return, milady. And you will have my service. Robin has secured for us all the most precious gift. A future. Now it falls upon our shoulders to protect what was given. I vow to give my all to healing the damage to this war has wrought upon the realm. When Robin returns, I want her to see what her sacrifice brought. Robin, if you can hear me, you will always have a place here with us. Remember that. Always. And that is Fire Emblem Awakening. This was truly a let's play like no other for me. As someone who's done almost 70 let's plays at this point, the fact that I could still have a completely different experience from everything I've done before, it's truly remarkable what this game was able to pull off and I am so happy that I got to do this let's play for all of you and the fact that this could have gone on truly it could have been a 200 episode let's play each episode being almost an hour long even though I won't be doing that if I had all the time in the world I would actually consider 100% in this game there's some strange addiction to it. Everything that they tweaked about the series in this new installment and that they were bringing over to America, they did right. Everything just works for this one, and it absolutely deserves its legacy in which it brought this entire franchise back to life in North America where everyone fell in love with it, everyone adored it, and the franchise became a household name to any gamer and it's no it's not going anywhere anytime soon it is here to stay for sure i absolutely adore this game and while i still haven't put in the time to play any of the games that came before it and while the games that came after it haven't been able to top this one in my opinion this is a franchise that I am very much in love with. I love this genre now, and I never thought I would. Even when I was first introduced to it, I didn't think I could actually even understand it. And the fact that there are still so many things able to uh, get introduced and things that I could learn about this 
franchise as I was going through this let's play things that I need to learn to perfect my skills and whatnot and still so many things that I still need to learn if I want to complete everything that's, that this game has to offer it's an unlimited amount of entertainment and joy this game is very much worth your time worth your investment it was an absolutely legendary experience I loved it from beginning to end. It will be a weird one to say the least in terms of editing. I guess just now that I finally recorded all of it, I could go into editing and just have a trip down memory lane on what my thoughts on this LP was like and what my commentary was like. It was, this is a big let's play. I won't fault anyone for like thinking it's a bit overwhelming to watch, but if anyone enjoyed it, it's like, I don't know how people would perceive it. It's like, will they want to play along and like, try and piece together their own strategies and like see what moves they would have made will they be groaning and face palming at my terrible decisions will they enjoy the commentary and the story aspect that I like to emphasize with the voice acting will they like just the commentary of it all and have it as like an accompaniment for whatever they're doing throughout the day since the episodes go on for such a long period of time I don't know but all I know is that for me personally I had a really wonderful time from beginning to end as for whether or not I could do something like this again I truly don't know if I'll do another Fire Emblem Let's Play at this point in time I don't think I will but in terms of this genre there is going to be another game like this that you'll see on the channel in the future one that I am equally in love with and that I am equally excited to share with all of you so I hope you look forward to that when the day comes. And now you can see all of the relationships, statuses, and how they paid off. And you can see what happened to every single character after the war. So you get to see a bit of closure for any of the characters that you paired up. And uh, any characters that you went out of your way to get with like the... Um, relationship statuses and whatnot so there's a lot of different outcomes to this game and a lot of different pieces of dialogue of it's kind of sad how some of them end up if you don't pair them up with people but oh well uh, he returned home to Roseanne where he uh, was labeled a traitor and a coward or else ignored entirely he never battled those claims but his history shows he gave the rest of his life to the people my god so he didn't really get a hero's welcome I know we didn't use him all that much I used you in a different time, though, Viron, I hope you at least uh, appreciate that. So I continued her nightly duties as soon and soon became a trusted leader on the field and off. Her dashing figure and significant skills made her a hero to women everywhere. Definitely one of my favorite characters. I don't know what the decision was to switch her out this time around, but uh, I appreciate your service in my first playthrough. You definitely made it an enjoyable and possible experience. You know, it also shows you how many battles they were in, how many victories they had, which is really cool. Vake returned to the streets that raised him and was welcomed as a hero. His unflinching self-assurance was the perfect medicine for the town's post-war squabbles, earning him the nickname Brother Vake. Very fitting end, but what if it, shouldn't it be like Brother Teach? Eh, whatever. And Stahl. Stahl's another character who I was like considering giving more time to, but... I don't know, I, had to, I would have had to have made him very different from Frederick because I thought he was just too similar starting out, except just in a week or since, and similar to Sully as well. Uh, Stahl continued his service as an Ulyssian knight and led crucial missions across the realm. His placid nature and scatterbrained charm made him a favorite hero of the people. He's the people's people. And Muriel, the most uninteresting character, battles two victories won. Oh boy, I, if I had to rank them all from favorite to least favorite... I don't know, they're characters I hate more, but then they're characters that are just forgettable. And she's probably the most forgettable for me. Muriel remained in Ulysses, but would vanish for days at a time when her discoveries prompted her further inquiry. In her final years, these excursions culminated in a historic convention of Supreme Court. Oh, these are all talking about after they die, so this is like, uh, these are like several years in the future uh, when these are all being documented. Uh, battles 2, victory 0, sorry about that, Callum. After the battle was over, Kellum departed Ulysses for a long journey. Of course, it took Krom and the other several years to notice his absence. I don't know. Why is that a thing? Like, how did they make that a joke of, like, him just not being noticed? Like, it sounds like... Then again, it sounds like something that would happen to me if I was in this group. They would just be like, whoa, you left? I didn't even notice. 
Sumi, how things have changed for you from my first playthrough. I wanted you to be on my team, but I just couldn't make it happen. I'm so happy I got to have you here this time around. With Krom's permission, Sumia traded her lance for a peaceful string, a stretch of pasture on which to raise Pegasi. Her flower petal readings were said to bring good luck, and I couldn't read that in time. 69 in the final episode! Wouldn't it be a finale with that 69? That's amazing. Longku returned to Ragnaferox and served as Basilo's right-hand man. Payne had no problems with the cold winters and would often forage for rare snow herbs used in steaming hot pots of tea. Oh my god, I can't believe we got to sing at 69 in the end. I don't know what order this is supposed to be in, but whatever. Uh, battles 19, victories 9. While continuing to study magic, Rickon realized how childish some of his actions had been. The stain of that revelation caused him to redouble his efforts. And soon, he was a mage of the highest order. And that's why I can't just read him from the very beginning, so I have to stall a little bit. Why is... What kind of a name is Rickon? It's like chicken. He is a chicken. Oh, whatever. Battles 1, victory 0, poor Maribel. I wonder how many of these battles happened during the Averse of Paralogue. After returning home to Themis, Maribel became a magistrate who demanded equal justice for nobles and commoners alike. Well, that's nice of her, I guess. Finally, she did something decent. For someone that wasn't Lyssa. Uh, Gaius, another character who I really like and I kind of wanted to use this time around. It's just a matter of being limited in your sources. Gaius never lost his sweet tooth, though he ultimately returned to less savory enterprises. Tales of Sticky Fingers Gaius are still told in taverns everywhere. And Cordelia, a phenomenal character. I really... She's probably the one I regret not using the most, because I adore, like, her passion and her courage, and I don't know what it was that made me choose her over, say, Sumia or whatever, but it just happened. Not even peacetime could dull the lovely Cordelia's knightly edge, and she became a figurehead for all Ulyssian warriors. It was unrequited love that drove her, many said, though she never tr she never stated for whom. And Gregor. Gregor, I just met her. Had to have that in the finale. With his more epic battles behind him, Gregor soon sank into a life of excess. When his purse got light, his manly man, Gregor Purse, he was said to work as a bodyguard to make ends meet. It's kind of weird, like, not all of them just lived in the castle and lived the life of luxury. They went on their own. Some of them weren't able to do well after the war. It's kind of weird, but I guess it's kind of realistic to the real world. Where, even if you're in a war, it's not always a happy ending. <laughs> Anyways, if you need me to tell you that. Noe tried living away from humankind, but she soon longed for their company and set off to find her old comrades around the world. Did she succeed, though? Because they're all dead, probably. Oh, poor Noe. I wonder if it would be even more heartbreaking if I gave her a companion that wouldn't be able to live with her for the rest of her life. Uh, Libra! Many an unfortunate child found joy in the small orphanage Libra built after the war. People believed the kind, beautiful priest to be an incarnation of Naga, and he was counted and he was courted by women and men alike. Uh the silver badge right there is she like second place in terms of how many people she's killed. Uh, I wonder who's first place. Then Tharja's jealous obsession with Robin never subsided. Even after her return to Plesia, anecdotal evidence suggests she devoted most of her effort to hexes and curses that might reunite them. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really get to show that off all that much, but uh, Tharja has a very strong obsession with Robin that you don't really get to see unless you uh, have her get married to someone, where she's just like, I'll marry you so I can get closer to Robin, or if you ever marry Robin, where she's just like super obsessive. Uh, though she never overcame her stage fright, Olivia danced across the land, mending the scars of war. The flush in her tree and her cheeks remained a staple of her beauty. Again, another character that I'm very happy I got to use. It was a last second choice to make it happen, but I'm very happy I did. Cherish. Cherish and her beloved Minerva returned to Roseanne and struggle. Oh, Roseanne's a place, not a wife. I thought like Viron had a wife named Roseanne back at home or something like that. My bad. So I was like, that would have been really awkward if I didn't marry someone. Uh, Ryder and Wyvern were never seen apart, of course. Oh, sick and twisted mind, Henry. I don't even care about him. Oh, he's such a weird and stupid character. After Grima's demise, Henry made a cold, clean break with history, never to stain its pages again. Uh, does that mean, like, he just didn't, uh, do anything significant so he didn't stain the pages with his existence again? I don't know. After returning to Chosen, Seiri worked tirelessly with the other dynasts to secure a peaceful future for the Valmese continent. She was occasionally seen visiting her brother Yenfei's grave. 
It's kind of a weird situation, even though we did bring him back. The fact that the one in her reality is gone. I wonder if it truly would be the same or not. I feel like it should be, but I guess I wasn't in that situation, so I can't say. With Grima a done deed, Basila returned to Ferox and applied himself to dethroning Flavia. If his army of champions failed, he knew he could always wait for little Lucina to grow up and lend her a mask. So he's just trying to, like, become the Khan again. After Grima was vanquished, Flavia returned home and did a marvelous job of whipping Ragna Ferox back into shape. I thought so, she was going to say like, whipping uh, Basilo. They say that each time a tournament drew close, she would ask Krom to lend his sword. How wonderful. Hopefully they still play on casual mode and they won't actually kill people in the little tournaments of theirs. Donald returned to his tiny village and lived a quiet life with his mother. He never took up arms again as if he actually could because I never actually bothered to make him powerful. A blessing for which he thanked the Exalt daily. I guess he never became the true heroic warrior of the sea that he was hoping he would be. Uh, but he got to be part of the journey nonetheless, so I guess that's okay with him. With nary a word, Anna left the others and returned to her free-spirited merchant life. She was later sighted across the continent, haggling with suppliers and beating down the cost of goods. And depending on how many characters you recruited throughout the game, it actually could outlast the credits, so we're just sort of left to have these all run out. Uh, but yeah, we'll just keep on reading, I guess. Lucina disappeared after whispering these words to her infant self. Yours will be a happy future. Did she journey to another land or back to her own time? No one knows for certain. Hmm. Well, some of you may know where she went. I certainly do. Wayne tried settling down in Ulysses, but ultimately set off. I like battle zero, victory zero. I seem to hate him. Wayne tried settling down in Ulysses, but ultimately set off on a lengthy quest to stay his sword hand. Oddball heroes matching his description continue to crop up in local legends to this day. Gotta have your funny character, I guess. And maybe he made his way into multiple stories. And if you know what I mean. Oh, Morgan, I feel bad for you. Like, we should have given you more time, considering, like, again, the older siblings are always the most cherished. Morgan's memory never returned, but he didn't seem to miss it much. Later, scholars would speculate that he had come from a different future than other children. There's a whole lot of theories that go behind uh, Robin's existence and why she's allowed to marry, or he is allowed to marry the children units, uh, which I have no idea if they're true or not, but I guess... Keep on speculating, I suppose. Yarn traveled the world in search of a safer haven, a journey that was ironically fraught with danger. Nevertheless, he is said to have beaten his fears and lived in a ripe old age. I wonder how long the Tog will live in comparison to humans and Manichetes. As for Tiki, uh, an old ally from an old era, who has made his, who has changed history once again. Exhausted from the war, Tiki returned to the Divine Dragon Grounds and slept for several days. Afterward, she was said to come down and visit people regularly. So she's not going to go to sleep anymore and she'll live in this timeline? I suppose so. With the slaughter done, Grangle retired to obscurity. While some claim he found another kingdom to rule and ruin, <laughs> others insist he ended in the gutter. All agree he was dead within a matter of years. <laughs> wow. That's really unfortunate, even though he sort of redeemed himself by joining our cause. He had a really crummy ending. I feel sorry for him. The Great Emperor Walmart opened up a... a what do you think? Like a supermarket chain? What even is Walmart? It's just a store where you buy things. It's not like luxurious stuff, and it's not strictly food, so what is it? It's just a store. Walmart was set to leave this world in pursuit of new conquests. Some surviving legends go so far as to place him in the Out Realms, where he... Where he reputedly found I can't read that quick. Sadly, Emerion's fractured memory never fully mended, and I looked it up. She never gets it back if you max out Robin's communication with her, which is really unfortunate. She took refuge in Ferox after the war and started anew as an ordinary woman, a life that one can hope held fewer pressures than her exalted one. I don't know what to say about that. I'm happy that I saw her again, but. In this state, is she happy? 
I wish I could have the answer to that. I wish they gave you the answer to that, but they don't. Yenfei vanished like the mist, never to be seen again. Some say he returned to the Outrealm from whence he came, but none were able to witness the great swordsman's departure. So he left Seiri in the end. I wonder if it was mutual. <sighs> I have no idea. Also, battle is zero, victory is zero. I guess they don't count the time where uh, they're actually helping us when we meet them, I suppose. Having reclaimed the truth, Aversa returned to the town of her birth and stated life anew as an ordinary girl, as if making up for the time that was stolen from her. And with that, that is the final character, and that is the tale of the Heroes of Fire Emblem Awakening. Remember their names, remember their journeys, and remember the future that they fought to create. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Awakening. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Krom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Welcome back. It's over now. Sweet dreams.